so I have gone, gone ahead and uh, did my uh, my heat gun on this. It's definitely not dry. I mean, if I were to touch it, it's going to you know come off. But I'm hoping that it's dry enough to where it doesn't intermix like it would if it were completely wet. You know, wet on wet. I like that. It's, it's doing well. All right. So then I can just take my brush, come down like this. You know what? I need to this off. I'm not getting it all. Sorry guys. I don't know if I could just find the button here. Yeah, I want it closer. I want it a little further away. There we go. Not too far away. Don't get too carried away, right? Okay. So like these little edges, now really down further it probably doesn't matter so much and you'll see why here in just a second. I'm going to come back up here and do it and just pull my brush down. And then, see, this is why I'm saying it doesn't really matter too much. You know, once you get done painting this design on, if you can go back and touch it up if you find that maybe there's some spots that need to be cleaned up more or maybe there's still white showing that kind of thing. That's fine. I'm going to try to cover up all the white that I put down here. And then I'm going to just keep turning it and doing it. Like I said, I love these Dynasty brushes. They're just, they're just perfect for glass painting, especially if you're doing... I, I really haven't done multicolor and like double loading or whatnot on them. But I do find that they're just really great for single colors when you're trying to fill them in without having to go over an item too many times to get it opaque. Here I got it a little bit white. And even that, you know, once it dries some, you can go back over and touch it up if you find that it did turn kind of gray in some of the spots. That's fine. I'm excited. I bought some new lights that had help with my videos. I just don't have them set up yet. I wanted to come down here and work today. So hopefully I'll be getting those set up here for my new videos. Yeah, you might want to just kind of come back up there and just touch it up. Again, this is not a perfect stripe. It's not intended to be. It's just an easy way to do it, more of a whimsical way. If you need perfection on your glass painting, then I would suggest stencils, tape, whatever you need that way to make them that way. I just am not, that's not important to me, at least with what I'm doing right now. Getting a little bit more white on here than I want. I really don't want it to be gray. But I definitely, with my next steps on this, need it to be dry. Now, I haven't decided if I'm doing anything around the tops or the stem itself. If you have any suggestions on what you think would be fun, put them down in the comments and I'll look at those and Give them a thought. You know, maybe it's something I will do or add. If you think of something fun. Oh, I'm so wiggly today. I'm normally not that. Must be the caffeine I've had. But anyhow, I'd love to hear your comments of if I should finish off the, the stems. Maybe do something around the top. Put that in your comments down below. If you are a new visitor and have not subscribed yet to my channel, please make sure that you do so. Click the subscribe button. Also make sure that you click on the bell and it will give you a um, kind of a little nudge to do so. Let you know about that. That way you get the notifications whenever I post something new. 
my goal this year is to really work on my channel. I've had a channel for many years, but when I first got on the internet, I really didn't know what the heck I was doing. I still don't. I'm still working on that. But I been on YouTube, was on Facebook before Facebook really became a big deal. Almost towards the beginning of time when I first got a computer and really got more acclimated to it even once I had friends contacting me through it to connect. I thought this is great and then realized that it was a good function for business and then with YouTube I'd posted stuff you know a while back and decided to um, you know get more active in it because I really I like doing videos even though I may not be the greatest on them I like doing them now I'm probably messing this up I was just trying to get the the connection here to be a little bit more uniform around the glass it doesn't have to be even I don't care about that so much some of them are longer than others by way far all right I'm just gonna go through the base here and touch it up and like I said I'd love to hear from you what your thoughts are how you think I should finish off the stem if I should just leave it like this and around the top and I'm going to pull the tape off I'm going to stop before I mess it up I'm going to pull the tape off and I like to try to do this if possible right after I get done painting and not leave the paint to stick if you see any spots that need to be cleaned, I would do so at this point. But like I said, it may not be perfect, but it gives you a more even uh, rim. And then a definite space from here for somebody to drink out of it. And there you have it. So again, this is part number one. If you like my videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Please share my videos. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss anything. And until the next video, I appreciate you stopping by. Have a good one.